Yo guys, what's up? Shadow here and welcome back to another episode of Kenshi! Today, we're going to Mongrel, or at least that's the attempt. That's what we try to do. So, let us get the necessary equipment to do so, which will consist of... Uh, how heavy are these, by the way, these bolts? Uh, 22 times 1 kilo. Really? Oh, okay, so each one of these is one kilo. So, and each one of these is 40 shots, so let's take five with them, which is 200 shots per person, right? There we go, and both should still be weightless. Um, we'll also, uh, we'll, we'll check real quick with the... Oh, it's not even finished yet. Ah, that's no worries. Uh, we'll check really quick with the medical equipment. They have some already used one ones and I think the used ones will keep them at the base and will give them fresh ones there we go and same for you keep the used one in here and get that one for you and now also some food for on the way of course that's important too let's get them two fish each that should be ample provisions for their journey. Alright, the rest is just gonna stay here at the base and do what they do. Improve their skills and prepare. And uh, further the glory and the purses of our empire, I think. Right, so I think this is the first place, the first checkpoint here. Right before this bluish, whitish area. Just to see what that is all about, you know. Maybe we'll see uh, right there that it's uh, it's looking dangerous, and we might turn around and go, go somewhere else. But um, I mean, you know, might as well check it out, right? Well, this is still vain. That is obvious. And here we go. Hive territory. It's been a while since I left. In the hive, nothing matters, nothing exists, nothing is desired. Nothing but loyalty for the queen. Where is that queen, by the way? Can we kill her? And then the whole... Huh? The dark ones must be tamed. Oh, no! 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 Oh, also, we have problems at the home front, it seems. Ugh, hungry bandits. Right, everybody machine is full. What are they working with? Everybody, it's time for some righteous slaughter! Oh god, Raki's in a shitty position. Let's go. Uh, Kang will trust you right in the middle of this. You need to go right at him. Let's go. And also you two, you need to evade. Evade these crazy freaks. Because otherwise you will probably get uh, burned at a stake as witches or something. These are slower than we are, are they? They are quite athletic. 22 miles per hour. And what are we? 25. And... Yeah, 25 it seems. 25. Yeah, so we should get away from them. Oh, when will you give up? You salad freaks. Forget them. Return to the base. Good. How is it going over here? We see already a few dead bandits on the floor, just getting slaughtered. Ragiat is taking a little bit of a, of, a, of a hit there, but I think we're getting we're getting control of the situation. It's always when I when I go to freaking exploration when the bandits are coming for us. It's really annoying, I have to say. Raggy, try not to get hurt anymore, otherwise your leg will go. Although that would be kind of interesting, because then we could put that robot leg on you. <laughs> Come on, Kang. Zing! Slash. Cut. Smash. Go get him, boy. Yeah, that's how you do. Yeah, <laughs> you're pretty much dead, son. Oh, look, he's getting up again. That's a bad decision. I can tell you that right away. Oh, damn! 
He has slain Molly. Well, not really, but, you know. Come on. Kill him. It's kind of funny how they go, like, one by one, just... Oh my god! Molly stabbed him in the ball sack from down below. <laughs> that was a sneaky attack if I've ever seen one. Damn. Oh, and or Orion is just being useless on top of the wall there. I should never have installed these things. They're just a distraction for them, apparently. Alright, let them uh, get... Oh. Is this... Yeah, this seems to be the area. I want to go over here, though, because that seems to be the easier entrance. Look at these huge ruins. What are these? Are these like... You know how, how these look to me? Like bows of a ship. You know, if you put, like... Wait, what? You can mine these? Yeah, they're iron resources. What? I mean, that's kind of cool, but... Damn. <laughs> also, you can only put two... Three workers on them. I would imagine you have a space for a lot more, but you know, that's okay. <laughs> ah, all right. Everybody looking fine? Let's see. Logan, yeah, you're you're okay. Kang, ah, oh, fair enough. Soto, just go to bed real quick and then do your job again. It's all Bard always gets like. Completely trashed, it, fe it feels like. Raggy, too, by the way. These two are. Oh, God. Okay, we're getting attacked over here. What is attacking us? Surveying the situation. I don't see anything. Oh, there's dudes. What are you? Oh, God, they're like hive. They look like hivers, but. Fogmen. Ugh. Wait, they have like white eyes. Look at them. Jesus, they look scary. They're slow as hell, but damn, they look scary. Okay, so apparently they attack us. Yeah, we should be... Oh, God. They have risen again. Because they're idiots. Uh, You need to... And they've risen in numbers, too, these... Bastards. There we go. Good job. Uh, you need to medicate yourself and you need to go to sleep as well, young lady, because you are hurt. Let's go, Ruka. Molly as well. She is quite beat up. And I think that concludes all of them. Right. Back to our explorers. Oh, yeah, look, they're chasing us. There's only... I mean, there's only three of them, and we have crossbows, so... And they don't seem to have, like... Oh. Hold on. Oh, damn! Bombingham forgot his crossbow. Oh, that was why um, one of the crossbows was in the locker. Oh, that's annoying. Okay, let's forget it then. Oh, uh, it's because of the weaponsmithing. That always happens if some guy is weaponsmithing. He tends to put his own weapon inside the locker. I really hate that. It should There should be like a way to uh, designate a weapon as your primary weapon or something like that and then um, it does not get taken away in, in a fashion like that. Uh, I see why these are called fogmen if they live here. Yeah. Damn, that's like really thick fog. Uh, yeah, now now the map also makes quite a lot of sense, actually. Ooh, what do we have here? Some torches. Oh! <laughs> ah, charming! Decorations! I love decorations! <laughs> what the tease? Prisoner pole! Fog death yard! Okay, is this like a base of the fog men? Oh yeah, it's actually displayed here as a symbol. I, I, I don't see any Fogman. But... Maybe I'm just blind, I don't know. God, the fog is like really unnaturally thick. Wow. 
so what is this? Is this a? It says Fog Death Yard on when I click on one of these items. Is that like a like a a camp of fogmen? If it is, then they seem to be on patrol or something because they're not here, obviously. I mean, damn, you can't see anything in this fog. That's amazing. I love it. It's dangerous as hell because we might run into an army of fogmen and not even know it, but... It seems like we can just kill, click on Mongrel and we'll probably get there. Oh, look, there's another huge ruinous structure over there. Or a ruined structure, rather. They really look like parts of ships, to be honest. Like giant tankers or something. Oh, is that is that mongrel? Yeah, it is. Oh, come on! You really want to fight? Do you? Look at you! You got more red than anything on you. You're practically dead. You're fighting a thick shack lady and her saber-wielding companion. I would give up if I was you. I mean, feel free to be a training dummy, but I mean, it's kind of dumb. But yeah, you know, suit yourself. Oh, wait. Oh, we got stuck. Oops. Oh, no. Damn it. Do not separate the party. Never separate the party. If I had to guess, yeah, that looks like another fog death yard. Oh, there's fogmen too. Oh, they're so creepy. They're like naked and they have only like some a few clubs. They have these ghostly eyes. Ugh. Not cool, yo. Ah, I see. Okay, the entrance is over here. Got it. Like right in front of the fog death yard. Charming. Very charming indeed. What are these guys? Shinobi guards. So Mongrel is its own faction apparently, and they have Shinobi guards, just like the um, the Bar Ninjas apparently. Lovely. Hello. Nobody's talk. Oh. Oops. Sorry. Close the gate. Oh wait. Oh, thank God, he unlocked it. I just wanted to say, I cannot... <laughs> do I have to lockpick it now? They probably would be angry if I did. All right, here we are, mongrel thieves. Oh, are they, is this just another tower of the thief guild, or are the thief guild, like, very... like the mongrel faction? There's this guy, Shinobi Guard. A new guy, eh? Must be tougher than you look, making in here to the city in one piece. Well, can you tell me about this place? People don't make a habit of visiting here. If you're lucky enough to make it to Mongrel, you're stuck in Mongrel. The plus side, no one will find you in this town. If you get someone to hide from, that is, round here, you will find mostly outlaws and exiles. Ex-slaves, sorry. I guess, okay. Any survival advice? If you're staying, keep your head down. If you're heading out, well, you should avoid the death yards altogether. The mist tends to swallow travelers up, shall we say. And I see. What happens to people in the death yards? Nobody really knows. Some reckon it's to, to do with evil spirits. And then you got others who believe the cures of the mist. People get lost, lost their sanity and starve to death. People here, the ones that haven't lost their minds. That is, they don't talk about the fog. Ooh, now I'm interested. I'm checking it out. Yeah, right. <laughs> Idiot adventurers. <laughs> you got them right. Uh, so they don't know. Do they not know about the Fogmen? Do they just think that the fog has some supernatural qualities? That's interesting. What is this? Like a oh, skeleton repair bed. Come in. Have a browse. I am Skeletor. Skeletor, Doctor. Ah, <laughs> Skeletor. No. What is this place? Skeletons can get repair, get permanent injuries fixed up. Probably not much use to you, Hivers. Got anything for sale? Oh, I see. Now here we can get all these fancy legs if we wish. Cool. Very cool. What else do we have? We have a bar. 
Oh, yeah. Several bars. That's kind of interesting. Every town seems to have several bars. I find that very, um, how do you say that? Enticing? <laughs> You're the barkeeper? Yes, you are. Just some food and blood rum. It's more, uh, voodoo brothers. Ooh, sounds fancy. Anything else? I just didn't check that out. No. Crumble, crumble little chunk. Look at this guy! What is that posture? <laughs> Seriously, dude, you need to straighten up. A shriveled, sinew old man glares at you with one eye. He looks expectant and weary sort of way, like he's already bored with you. But he's gotta to talk to you anyway. Who are you? Grumble John. Do I say that a Crumble John? Yeah. Why do they call you Crumble John? Because of my crumbling bones. That's enough question now. Can you actually lift that weapon? No. Go away. <laughs> That's a really long beard. It's the source of my power. Stop pestering me. <laughs> what is this guy? Why are you so old? Leave me alone. <laughs> join my squad? Fine, I'll join. Stupid squad! <laughs> I bullied an old man into joining my squad! Yay! <laughs> and he's actually free, I don't believe that! Look at this guy! <laughs> oh my god! Hey, he has a strength of 24, that's the better than these two guys! Holy crap! <laughs> What well, is that? Let me just check that out real quick. 10, 10, 10. Not, not good, but not bad either. <laughs> Look at him. Love it. Oh, the only bad thing is he has like a speed of 18. That's a bit, it will be a bit hairy to get out of here. Infinite Wing Wang. What is it? What is with these names? Do you engage the might of infinite wing wang? Dare you? <laughs> no, sorry, infinite wing wang. <laughs> what the shit is up with these people in this town? <laughs> oh my god, I think I find my favorite town yet, I have to say. <laughs> uh, okay, we have a clothing shop here. Yeah, we have another bar. Lantern of Radiance, Lantern of Deception, more like. Whee! Mongrel crazy. Okay. What else do we have here? Outlaw. Hanbu. Oh, he's like a soldier drone, isn't he? A hybrid is not complete without a master to serve. Mm, I see. Yeah, we're not gonna hire just random dudes, I think. I mean, we just got... We just took him because he was free, basically. Heft. Being stuck in this godforsaken place is enough to drive you stir crazy. Take a seat, Outlander. You gotta be here for a while. Why can't you not leave the Death Yards, Drifter? You have to be out of your mind to set a foot in those cursed valleys. I came here to escape prison, but turns out this is just prison in another guise. More hellish in that last one. Escape with me? Are you crazy? No one gets into the fox and comes out alive. Only the lucky make it to Mongrel. Don't tempt fate, newbie. Well, I came here and I'll leave. Nobody leaves Mongrel, Outlander. Well, we'll see about that. Um, food. Well, you know, in an emergency, we have like a bait to leave behind. He has an interesting helmet. Like Lord Bucking, Bucking helmet. Zill, show me your goods. Huh? What the hell? Sil, mongrel, is he like a... What What the hell? He has no goods, he has just money. So you can just sell him stuff, apparently. Oh, look, and there's like a bar right next to a bar. <laughs> That's how I love my places. Beep. Oh, we can talk to this guy. Oh, he's named Beep. What the hell? <laughs> Let's talk to this guy. Beep. <laughs> okay. Hi, Beep! 
<laughs> oh god, did I did I just trigger self-destruction mode? No! <laughs> what the hell? How how do you know my name? <laughs> just a guess! <laughs> You must be some kind of genius, then! Uh, yes, I... <laughs> yes, I am! Can I join you? I want to become strong, become a swordsman. You don't look very strong, you don't even have a weapon. Do you have any skills? I have nothing. <laughs> at least he's honest. They ix at me from the hive. Ah, yeah, I feel the pain. Just because you keep saying beep. Yeah, probably! If someone was just walking around you all day long going beep, Beep, you will probably exile him. I don't blame them. <laughs> I am defective, not good for the hive. But Beep doesn't give up. Beep is strong. <laughs> Since I left the hive, I can feel my mind changing. The way I think, I feel, having thoughts I've never had before. I want freedom, but everywhere I go, things go try to kill me or chase me. Beep tires of running. Time to stab the things that chase me. Ah, uh, psyched. Another weak body. No much money. How much money do you want? Money? I don't know what that means. Welcome to the team. <laughs> Beep. <laughs> oh my god. This is... Mongrel is full of great characters. Are these guys always here or are these just randomly here today? That is great. Oh my god, okay. Let's see, let's see his stats. I, I, he said he's pretty useless, but we'll see. Okay, he's completely useless, actually. <laughs> oh, great, we got a band of misfits together here. Lovely. I mean, he even has athletics one. Well, to be fair, as a hyper, he still has 18 movement speed. That's not bad. We have some mercenaries, some more mercenaries, bland, and mongol bar patrol. Need a merc, I'm pretty good with the sword. Go on. Good to hear, but here's the deal. Got a warrant out for my arrest. You can pay my bounty for me. I'll be unconditional ally. How much? 5,000 cats. Yeah, he's a generic one, I guess. All right. Um, you know what? Before we head out and try to get back to the fog of death, um, I'm actually going to wait until morning so we can visit all the shops here because I've seen there's a few different shops. There's a armor shop, clothing shop, a boot shop. I've never seen one of those before. A tech shop. And I think it's someone over here as well. Yeah, ranger shop. So there's a bunch of shops we can visit. General store. Oh god. Oh, is it the fog, man? Yep. Yep. Fog, man. Fog heavy. <laughs> is that like a weather condition? Good morning. Today, fog heavy. Good night. <laughs> fog heavy. Fog heavy. Do they have, like, heavy weapons? Yeah, it looks like it. Like, heavy clubs. Damn. Okay. Interesting. Yeah, right. Let's wait until the morning. Oh, God. Molly. Molly, you're... you're my dear, you should go to bed with that leg. Uh, you can go back to your jobs. You can go back to yours. You can go back to your jobs. Oh, Jesus, have we already filled another chest uh, of... Aha, uh -huh, we did. Okay. Just just build another one then? <laughs> uh, let's see. Storage. Storage, storage, storage. Building material. We're just gonna stockpile building materials. Not sure if that's a good idea or not, but we're gonna, we're gonna do it. There we go. Need some one iron plate for that. Yeah, you know what? You can grab that by yourself. You don't have to bother Raggy with that. With that request. There we go. You got one iron plate. You can go and do that for yourselves. Ruka is fine. You can go back to your job. And Lugan. Lugan is also fine. 
All right, let's wait until morning. Until our rag band of idiots over here is uh, coming back. Can we just run around like this to improve our um, athletics? Is that how that works? Would be cool if you could say, set like um, uh, patrol points so they would just endlessly run around. Training. Oh yeah, look there. Bam! Athletics upgraded onto 11. Well done. Well, and this is way onto two. Nice. I hope 18 uh, movement speed is enough to outrun most dangers, honestly, because otherwise you have to sacrifice one of you, and I'm not sure who is faster. A useless hiver that says beep, or an old man that uh, looks like hunchback on crack. I mean, damn. Ah. Oh. <laughs> Seriously, these two are amazing. Oh, really good. Really, really glad I picked these two up. Um, we'll have to find jobs for them back in, in our base. I mean, Beep could join our adventure squad at one point. Right? Because why not? Let's see. What else do we have in here? Take a look around. Yes, we will. Ooh. Toothpick. Old World Bow. Old Regular. That's interesting. Why is that yellow? I mean, I think I'm gonna buy this, honestly. What do we need to make a toothpick? Is it the same kind of stuff that we need for the um, junk bomb? Steel bars? Yeah, it also needs steel bars. Ah, eh, too bad. But, you know, that's fine. I think it's good because uh, at one point we want to make our like uh, high level some like oh god there's more fighting going on out here probably more fuckmen if I could guess escaped servants of the holy nation outlaws yeah yeah you're in bad shapes fight 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 oh okay so you got uh, got support from the shinobi guard so you might be all right down there cool. All right, beep. <laughs> Go and check the shops out. Let's see if we find some more interesting blueprints here. Uh, rag shirt, rusty chain mail, chain mail, chain shirt. Jesus, they're expensive. Rusty chain shirt. Very expensive. Yeah, nothing for us. What's this? Barracks. All right. Let's see. Boot shop. What kind of boots do you have? Oh, well, you also have nut boots, apparently. Drifter's boots, we can already make these. Has, does Crumble Joe? Yeah, he has um, wooden sandals, so we don't need to buy those. That's good. Nothing too important here. Let's go over to the armor shop. Check that out real quick. Oh, there's the... Sword kin? Who are you calling kin? I'm not your kin. Who was it from? It was a good fight, I hope. Who are you talking to? Beep doesn't even have a sword. Samurai cloth pants. Looks small, kin. It's no sword for the Gurgle King, that's for sure. What are you talking about? Tackle moss, samurai. Samurai armor. Oh, I want to make... Oh, oh, okay, that's the actual samurai armor. That's not the blueprint. I'm an idiot. Armored faceplate? Ooh. That sounds intriguing, the armor faceplate. We still have some money. What else do we have here? Blackened chainmail, drifter's leather jacket. White plate jacket. Black plate jacket. Sleeveless long coat. You know what? We're gonna go. We're gonna get the armored faceplate. Because I want to see somebody make these. <laughs> we'll see if we can actually use these. All right. I think that's enough shopping for today. I would say. I don't think that. Jesus, look at that. There's more Fogman trying to go in. Look at all the, the Shinobi guards. Damn. 
we loot that guy? What does he have in his uh, inventory, I wonder? Probably not much. No, absolutely not. They just have clops. They're like very tribalistic, very feral, I think is the right word. Also, wait, is that the same gate that we came from? No, it's not. We, we, we want to take, I think, this exit over here. I believe. And then in... Yeah, and then in this direction. Oh, God. Yeah, this will be an interesting... Fuck, Death Yard 115 has been wiped out. That's nice. Yeah, it's going to be an interesting journey back with this uh, ragtag of, of uh, radical dudes. I mean, look at them. Wouldn't you trust your life with these guys? Don't they look like a competent band of mercenaries? I think so. Alright guys, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Take care.